All right, guys. All right, guys, don't mind this. I was just filming my mask Monday. Normally, I would put this away. I filmed in front of the bookcases now. But I want to be up front and honest with y'all. I woke up with really bad back pain on Saturday. It's like right here on my lower back, left side. Um, I think because the Marc Jacobs bag, I'm not 100% sure, but if you guys saw my outfits the week on Saturday, instead of wearing a backpack to work like I was doing, I was carrying this bag, which is beautiful and I want to wear it, but I think I was, it's, I think it's too much weight on the left side of my body. And I think I need to stick with the backpack to distribute the weight. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. So I switched to a backpack today to see if that makes a little bit of a difference. Um, this is like empty now. Um, there might be a little bit of junk in there. I don't know, but there's no like laptop and stuff. Anyway, so I had a really tough time at work today. I'm pulling through. I'm just trying to count down the days. I'm a little, I'm officially on February vacation next week. So I didn't think about that. So I'm not sure what my outfits of the week are going to be next week. Um, Joe's off Monday and Friday. I told him to take both days off so we can have long weekends together. Um, so we probably will go out on the Monday and Friday. I probably will go out at least one of the other days because I have plans with a friend. Um, but I'm not sure about the other two. So next week it might not be a Monday through Friday kind of video. But when I do go out, you guys will see the outfits. But anyway, I'm trying to just get through these next four work days. Um, I've been taking some Advil, I've been icing my back. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Um, but this is the outfit. Um, with jeans, nothing crazy. It's my standard Torrid bombshell skinny jeans. I am wearing my Ugg slipper boot things and this sweater. The sweater is from Target. It's a Forex, it's by New Day. So. This can go all the way to be like a full turtleneck. And I did have it like this for some of the day. And then after a while, I was like, eh, I need a little bit of a break. So I folded it down. I think it looks good either way. Um, this has like kind of an interesting detail. Let me get up close so you guys can see. It has like this little detail on the wrists. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it has it here too. Like, it's a, I don't know what you would call that. I would have to look it up. But this is kind of what you would see like on the inside of a shirt usually. I think they call that a raw hem. Or was I wearing this backwards the whole time? No, no, no. The tag's in the back. Okay. I think that's what that's called. But I'm not 100% sure. But I honestly really like the look of it. It's like a really cool detail. I think that's something as I get older that I notice more in clothes. Just nice little details like that. Also, I don't know if you guys can see. But there is like a silver thread. That runs through this. Um, I will say there is like a few little snags. Like I don't know if you guys can see that silver thread right there. And that is because mostly just because I wear a lanyard for work. Because I have to have my badge on me at all times. I have to use it to enter certain um, hallways in the school. Um, even to use the elevator and all that. Um, and then there is a key on it because I need a key to the staff bathroom. Because they lock them so the kids can't get in them. So it was mostly the key that was getting stuck, but not too bad. Um, yeah, so this is the outfit. That's basically it. Very cozy and comfortable. Like I said, I'm trying to get use of my sweaters for the rest of the month because it is like slowly warming up. It was still kind of cold today, but it was like 45. So, you know, we're getting, we're not in the 20s and 30s weather anymore, but definitely still sweater weather, at least for the rest of February. So I threw this one on today. Um, I actually, I was, so I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. I wore my backpack the second half of the day. So the first half of the day, I was like, no, I really want to wear this. This is what I, if you guys saw TJ Maxwell, I treated myself to this when I got found that I was getting the teaching job. And I said, it's beautiful because it's like a briefcase bag. It's by Steve Madden. Um, and I said, I can do it, but I'll hold it more like this instead of strapping it. So this is how I was using a majority of the day. I wasn't putting it on my shoulder. But even just this, I think because I carry everything on my left. I don't know why. Is that normal for right-hand people? Like, this feels weird to me. I don't know what it is. Even like when I use a crossbody, it's always to the left. 
So even after a while, just because the school I work in is huge. It's like over 3,000 kids. I'm not in one classroom all day. I wish it was. I was and made my life a little easier, but it's also good to move around and be active. But I have three different classrooms I go to. It's three different floors of the school, three different sections of the school. It's a lot. So after a while, I was really feeling it. And I said, I really do think that this is still too much for me. And I switched to my backpack. But doesn't this look gorgeous? <laughs> so I figured I would show it to you guys. Um, and I love it. I love it so, so much. It is very sturdy. Um, this strap is like on the thinner side compared to Marc Jacobs, which my mom called a seatbelt buckle. But that one, I do feel very sturdy with that one. I'm, it's unfortunate that I can't use it as much as I thought I was going to be able to use it. I'll definitely still use it when I go out. Um, but even these like, because of these little metal details, I don't feel like it's a cheap bag that's going to like rip apart. Um, like other cheap bags I've bought. I figured that out after a while, like stop buying cheap bags because it rips apart, especially because I carry a lot. Um... But this one, I think regular price was like 99 because it is Steve Madden. Steve Madden is not cheap. But because I got it at like a TJ Maxx, it was like 40 But that was a complete alpha. But like I said, the second half of the day, I had already switched into a backpack. Uh, I've been keeping the backpack at the school as a backup in case I needed it. If there was ever a day I needed to carry like a heavier load or something like that. Because like I said, I do go to different classrooms. There was a day I had to print a project for the kids and it was like this much paper. Uh, because each project had like 20 pages and I had to do 20 copies of it. So I was like, oh, perfect, throw it in my backpack. So I always try to be prepared. Um, the old teacher used to, the, the job I took over, she even told me she always used to keep like a backup sweater in the closet. And I said, smart. She used to keep like extra feminine products just in case. That's stuff I have to start bringing over. Like, that is a smart idea. I don't know. She told me that weeks ago and it just clicked in my head again. I'm just getting chatty, I guess. But yes, that is it. So day one, this is the outfit. Um, hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, my back is a lot better. If not, when you guys are watching this, I'm officially on vacay. So that is it, guys. Be safe. All right, guys. You saw this in an Outfits of the Week. Marvelous. Not last week. I want to say the week before. I'm pretty sure I wore this on February 1st. Thought it would be cute to kick off the month of February. And of course, I thought it would be cute again to wear today for Valentine's Day. I actually got quite a few compliments on this. This is uh, my favorite thing to wear for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I don't own that many Valentine's Day things. Honestly, just this and that love t-shirt. Um, but I really, really do love the design of this. Uh, Joe got it for me on Etsy last year. I will. They, I can't find this exact one, but I will link plenty of other options for you guys. I found so many, and I fell in love with so many, and I wanted to buy some, but I didn't. I found some that were smiley faces, some that were checkered print, so those are very in right now. I found some that are like conversation hearts, um, you know, that say like cutie, kiss me, whatever. I found some that are actually embroidered. They're literally sewed on, such high quality. I found some that are custom. You can put what you want in the conversation hearts. So, I mean, I know obviously when you're seeing this Valentine's Day is over, I did link tons of those on February 1st. And I even said, if you guys were interested, definitely order soon. Um, but honestly, I do wear this outside of Valentine's Day because I do really like this sweater. Um, like I said, when I wore the love t-shirt too, you can celebrate love anytime. It doesn't just have to be Valentine's Day. Um, smiley faces and hearts and checkered print, just cute. So if you want to check out the links, check out the links. Uh, you want to be ready for next Valentine's Day or you want to wear on a cute date night or an anniversary. It's cute. But anyway, that is it. Just that with my everyday old navy double pocketed leggings. And my little Ugg slipper booties. Trying to get a little more use out of these because it is finally warming up here. Um, but I don't know if it's going to stay that way. It's hard to tell New England sometimes. But we're, it seems like we're out of the 20s and 30s. It seems like we're kind of going in the 40s and 50s. Uh, we hit a few days that were like very close to 60 last week. But sometimes here in March, it does get really cold. So we shall see. I'll never forget once when I was a kid on April 1st. Yes, April Fool's Day, there was a snowstorm. That is the only time it's ever snowed in April, at least since I've been alive. Um, so, it's not super common. Usually it doesn't really snow in March, it's just still kind of cold. Um, we've kind of lucked out, even though it's been cold, we haven't really got any snowstorms this year, um, which I'm really happy about. I know some people are kind of sad. Um, <laughs> we've had snow. Like, I like living somewhere where there's all four seasons. I like seeing the snow on the ground and it fall and it's pretty. 
and we did get days like that but what was awesome about them is but the next day it would be like 40 everything would melt and it would be gone i don't like snow when it lingers because then it's not pretty anymore it's like brown and black and yellow and ugly um and then it's hard to park and you know what i mean it's not worth anybody's time we only like it when it's falling at least to me so let's see if we can make it through the rest of winter without a snowstorm that would be amazing and then be good for me too because no snow days and i would get out of work really early because you guys don't know i work at a school um so like i said do i want to say it again i forget because it's like obviously i'm filming this on different days but for you guys it's all in one video but next week i might not have so you guys are gonna watch this on a saturday that following week, I'm on vacation. It's February break. So I might not have as many outfits because there might be days where I just hang out at home. Um, but maybe I'll do like a day in my life on vacation. You guys can see like what a normal day is when I don't have work. I've always kind of wanted to do that. Um, I wanted to do more days in the life, but I can't do them on work days. Because to me, unless I'm going to show you my whole day, it's not worth it. And I can't film at work. Um, so that's why when I do do it, it's on the weekends. But I don't know. You guys let me know if that interests you. If I see a lot of comments, I can definitely do that on a work day, uh, on a vacation day. Literally wake up and show you like my morning routine. And some days I go out and do stuff. Some days I sit at home. Maybe I'll film two, one different one, one, like one where I stay at home and one where I go out. Um, because I do have plans that week, one day to see a friend. And Joe actually took the Monday Friday off, so we're probably gonna do something. Um, but anyway, yes. So that is it for day two. Three more days till my break. Cannot wait. But. This is the outfit, and like I said, there will be, links down below guys, be safe. Guys, I am actually filming this before work. I woke up before my alarm. I'm thinking about changing my wake up time because I really wanna get to work earlier and have like a half hour to myself before the kids start. Cause that was something at my old job that I did have. I used to start at 7.30 and the kids never arrived till like 8, 8.15. Um, when now at this job, I literally, I've been trying to get there for 7.30 and I start at 7.45, but I'm still like kind of frazzled in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna have to like slowly ease into it. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna start trying to get there for like 7, 7.15. Um, <clears throat> so let's make this brief so I'm not running late. Um, but guys, I am so, so, so excited. If you have been watching these, you know I have been struggling to find pants for work. I had finally bought a pair of jeans at Target. I showed in the Target haul, and then I tried them on for one of my outfits of the days, and it did not fit. It buttoned, but it was, like, tight. And then, before I even started filming the outfits of the weeks, I had bought three pairs of jeans. I showed that in a Target haul. It was, like, when I knew I had the job, but I hadn't started yet. I was like, oh, let me get ahead. Let me get some new jeans that don't have holes. And I got, like, a black pair, a dark denim, and, like, a medium wash. And all three were too tight. It's like a 28 is too loose, but a 26 is too tight. So it's like a struggle. So I finally got new pants. I am so excited. I'm going to be doing an Old Navy try-on haul for you guys soon, I hope. Because um, I have like three dresses, a few bodysuits, and the pants. So these are the pants right here. They are not jeans. They're not linen either. I have to look up what fabric this is. Um, but they're called chino pants, I'm pretty sure. And I am obsessed. First, they did not come in like number sizes, so that might have been the difference for me. This came in 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X. As you guys know, I shop in the plus sizes. Of course, it comes in extra small to extra large as well. Um, and they were $40, but only if you was having, sometimes they do like a one-day sale or a two-day sale. And Saturday and Sunday that just passed, because today's only Wednesday, it's the third day of Outfits of the Week, it was half off, so they came out to 20 bucks each. I bought four pairs, so yeah, I dropped 80 bucks in one shot, but I'm so, so glad I did, because I will be living in these pants for work. Um, what was I gonna say? They have a button, they have a zipper, but they fit so well, like I don't even have to unbutton and unzip, I can slip it right on, but they're staying on. The problem is, is the 28 jeans, it's not like they're falling off of me. Obviously a 26, 28 wouldn't be that drastically different. But they do kind of like start to go down as I walk and I'm constantly picking them up all day. So I'm hoping that isn't a problem with these and I don't think that will be because, guys, this is like, I don't want to like not show my underwear. This right here is straight elastic. There is like tons of room, <clears throat> but it's staying on my body. So I am so, so happy and it has pockets 
and I love the ends of it. I've been trying to do more like straight leg versus like skinny and it has like a cute little cuff. Um, I do have cute little black booties uh, that I want to find. My little closet room is kind of messy. That's something I plan on doing on my vacation next week. Um, <clears throat> I have a pair with heels. I know exactly where they are, but I don't want to wear heels right now because I've been having like lower back pain. Um, so I'm just wearing my supporter sneakers right now. Um, I might have to buy like a nice pair of sandals because the weather's going to get better soon. And I, I would like to have some cute footwear to go in my cute outfits. But I got these in black. I got these in gray. I got these in like an army green. And I got these in brown. And I already have like a really cute outfit planned with the brown. So I am so, so glad I got these. Uh, figured I would try it or some stores I can return. Old Navy's return policy is definitely not as good as Target's. So I was like, I'm gonna have to be on top of it. Because you only have like 30 days to do a return there. Used to be 45. They're only getting worse. I don't know why. They should be doing the opposite, but whatever. And then this top is from Torrid. I also want to do a small Torrid haul for you guys. Um, I had some Torrid cash in January. So I made like a small order. I am obsessed with this sweater. It is like a um, a, like a waffle knit. I've been loving this. I have so many tops like this. Um, but this has this really cute like lace detail in the shoulder. And it has it again in the sleeves. Let me push the sleeves down so you guys can see it. Do you guys see that? I'm not sure if it's getting on camera. There you go. So, so pretty. Um, it just goes into a little V. And then it has the slits on the side, which I love. It's so forgiving. So this is the outfit today. Uh, I do have like a meeting after work. So figured I would do the all black look again. Unfortunately, I can't wear my beautiful Marc Jacobs bag. Because like I said, I have been having some lower back pain. So I switched to a backpack. But that's, that's the situation for now. Maybe after vacation, I can try again. I don't know. I don't want to push it. I could try maybe a cuter backpack. Like my backpack is kind of like a utility backpack. Maybe I can try like a cute like leather backpack. We'll see. So yeah, this is the outfit for today. Day three. Guys, it is Thursday. So it is day four. And this is what I wore today. Joe actually got me this as a Valentine's Day gift. Uh, it would have been cute to wear for like four Valentines, but it didn't get delivered in time. It had to get shipped to the house. You ordered a few days before Valentine's Day. This is a hot tip. I do a lot for plus size clothing. I've mentioned it before in these videos. If you are interested in something being oversized as a plus size woman, it's very hard to find. But you guys can see this is definitely an oversized sweatshirt. I actually could have even gone a size down. My tip is shop men's. I'll do that with sweatshirts and I'll do it with button downs. So this was actually the like Valentine's Day line at Target by Goodfellow. Goodfellow is the male Target brand. And the reason it's Valentine's Day, you might not think because it's black, but over here says love always. It came in black and it came in red. I was debating on the red for a little while, but I was like, you know what? I love a neutral black moment and this way I can wear it year round. I mean, I can wear the red one year round too, but so I ended up getting in the red. So this is a... 5x in the big and tall i definitely could have done a 4x but the 4x was sold out hence why i got the 5x um but that is just a good tip i have two other sweatshirts in my cart right now i haven't ordered them yet i'm going to see if they do like a president's day sale that are from the men's apartment they're color block sweaters there's one that's like all gray but it's different shades of gray and then there's another one that's like tan pink and white oh my god i'm obsessed with it and that's why I love Target. Like, you know, if they sell plus in women, they sell plus in men. Um, they have every toddler, baby, um, food. Like, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Um, but yes, this is a Target brand, good fellow. I will link everything down below if you guys are interested. And this does come in regular sizes too, just like the Women's Plus comes in regular sizes as well. So this is the top, and I love it. it has like this really nice stripe detail. On the sleeves kind of reminds me of like a varsity jacket it even has it like down here i honestly could wear this if i really wanted to as like a sweatshirt dress but it might be it would be a short but if i really wanted to i, I don't know i don't know if i want to be that risque no i want to do that i'm just gonna wear it as a regular sweater and i did and it was super duper cozy today um i love a good oversized moment just like i love a cropped moment it all depends on my mood um and then i'm just wearing my standard black 
Well, navy leggings, but these are the cargo style ones. I only have one pair of these, um, but you guys know I wear them all the time. I've showed them to you before. They have the regular pockets and then they have cargo style pockets here. Oh, there's something in this pocket. I actually forgot. Oh, my schedule for work. I should put that in my work bag. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then I'm just wearing the Target. I just noticed my shoes untied. The Target sneakers that I showed you guys that I wore a lot last week that have the cute little like gems in the back. But yeah, that was, it was another all black moment, guys. I've been feeling it lately. I've been feeling it. Uh, one more outfit. And then you guys will be seeing this on Saturday. And like I said, next week is vacation for me. So I might not have as many outfits. Um, but when I go out, I'll definitely show it. I have plans at least three or four days out of the week. Um, try to enjoy my vacations. But I definitely want to do some stuff at home too. I might do like a day in my life on vacation vlog or something like that for you guys to see. But hope you guys have been enjoying. Be safe. Hey guys, it is Saturday morning. My outfit of the week wasn't pre-scheduled to go up i usually edit it quick friday night but last night was a very strange night for me um i even woke up just now it's saturday morning and i'm really like dazed and confused nothing bad like i don't want you guys to worry but basically i got home friday and i was exhausted so i crawled into bed it was around four o'clock and i told joe i said hey i'm gonna take a small nap i said and then me and him had plans to go to dinner and I said, when I wake up, me and you will go for dinner. And then I'll do my grandmother's meds because you guys know I'm her PCA. And then we'll head home and just like relax for the Friday night. And he was like, sounds good. So I woke up at 630 with my phone going off. It was my mom calling and I just like could not answer it. I was in such a good deep sleep. I literally hit ignore, turned over, went back to bed. I heard Joe come into the room and he's like, tell you to your mom and I said I know call her just tell her that I'm, I'm so tired I'm napping so then finally he came in like an hour later and he's like tell you it's 7 30 oh this is him hold on so Joe was like tell you it's 7 30 like you need to get up soon and I was like basically awake at that point and I said I'm awake just give me a few minutes I hate like jumping out of bed and I was like um oh I was like yeah as long as we do my vavo around eight we're fine so I gave myself a few minutes, crawled out of bed, got dressed, and then we had to do my vote before going out to eat. Um, so I was like starving and annoyed. It was my own fault because I slept too much, but I went, I did her meds, I did her insulin. Me and Joe went to the restaurant. Uh, I say restaurant, but it's like a cafeteria style restaurant. It was nothing extravagant. Uh, it's kind of like a Chipotle where they, they have everything in front of you or like a subway and you just tell them what you want and you pay and eat. So, and then from there, we literally came back home and it was almost 10 because we also stopped at a grocery store and I was like, Joe, I am so tired. And he goes, Taylor, you took like a three and a half hour nap. I said, I know, but I'm going to lay back in bed. I said, I don't know if I'm going to fall asleep, but I just want to lay back in bed. And I had like 40 minutes left on my audio book. So I literally laid in bed with the phone on the side of me and I hit play and um, I finished the rest of the book and I turned over and I knocked out. I didn't even plug in my phone to charge, nothing. And I was like, my mom even said, you're going to have trouble sleeping. And I said, hey, it is what it is. At least I'm off. I'm on vacation. At least it's not a work day. Guys, I slept right through till 9 a.m. this morning. So I got lots and lots of sleep. I should feel super refreshed right now. And I don't like I don't feel like oh my god I want to lay down and sleep no I actually want to get up and do something but I don't have money to do anything I don't I don't know I don't know I'm like really I'm in that like bummed out mood again and I hate feeling like this I just it's like I have a whole week off you know and it's I get so frustrated because I'm blessed that I work at a school and I have all these vacations but I don't do anything with them because I never have money to do anything and it sucks. And a lot of them I spend alone. Like, thankfully, this one, Joe took the Monday and Friday off. So we're going to be together. But majority of the time, I spend them alone. Because I don't have a lot of friends. And I just... And I feel like I just... I'm wasting a beautiful opportunity. But... I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm about to cry. And 
that's not something I want to do right now on camera. I just wanted to apologize. I am still going to post the outfits of the week. I'm going to edit it quick right now. So it'll still be up on Saturday. I just won't have Friday's outfit because, like I said, I got home. I went straight to bed. So I didn't get to film it. Uh, so I apologize for the off week. Um, hopefully, Joe having two days off this vacation will help make it a better vacation. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, send me some good vibes. Trust me. I know things could be so much worse. I try to focus on that. I try to remember that there's people in worse situations than me. But I can't help how I feel either. I hope you guys have a good, um, I was going to say vacation. If you have vacation, if you're another school worker or just took some time off to be with your kids because your kids are off this week if you have kids. Um, or maybe you have a long weekend because Monday's President's Day. I know I talked about that in the video. I was like, oh, there's no Mondays off in February. And someone commented and said, isn't President's Day a day off? It is, but to me it doesn't count because I have the whole week off. It's not a Monday or a holiday off for me if you, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that is it for the video. Um... Mass Mondays every Monday, hauls and unboxes every Tuesday and Wednesday, um, book club every Thursday, Friday is my vlogs or cook with me's or reviews, it's kind of like a random day video, but I always try to do something different on those days, not just an unboxing or a haul, Saturdays is my outfits of the week, I'm sorry this one's getting posted a little late, and then Sundays is self care with Hope, I definitely need some self care right now, I think I'm taking this Sunday off because I know she's doing a birthday collab. And I think I need a day off, honestly. Um, but other than that, I do post seven days a week, majority of the time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like anything I just said right now and it sounds good to you and you're not subscribed to me, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We're very real over on this channel. So I'm sorry if, that, if you're just watching me and you saw this emotional moment. But it's truly how I feel. That is it for this video, guys. Be safe.